know what they say about geeks. Be nice to them because you'll probably end up working for one someday. Uh, but just to be clear, our top priority is to hire the most qualified person available, right? Of course. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we'll be looking at the most interesting and groundbreaking facts surrounding startups and entrepreneurship. While the term startup is often applied to innovative tech companies, for this segment, we're defining them more broadly as any company in the early stages of development and operation. That sounds good, Peter. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this all fixed up for you. Number five, Uber may be the most successful startup of all time. And she just said, I'm sending an Uber for you in 90 minutes. This well-known app has revolutionized travel and is slowly and controversially putting taxi services out of business. It's hard to believe that only a few years ago, this Uber convenient concept was nothing more than an idea. And he says, no, I've got an Uber. This is like three years ago. I've got an Uber. I said, what's an Uber? A handful of lucky investors decided to buy into it and have made as much as 2,000 times their original investment in the first five years of business. Apparently, the getting's still good because in 2014, Uber raised $1.2 billion, earning the accolade of largest funding round in startup history. Critics charge that it's eroding a well-regulated industry and contributing to the hollowing out of the middle class. Either way, the company's progression should be a hell of a ride. You know what I love about Uber? You don't have to tip. F**k taxis, man. Uber's changing the world. And you own this car, right? It's like a nice car. Yes, ma'am. Number four. Uganda is the world's most entrepreneurial country. I just came, I had no desire really to, to work at any of the companies I found here, uh, so I decided to start my own. Approximately one in four Ugandans have their own business, making it the country with the highest entrepreneurship per capita. While that rate is significantly higher than startup hubs such as Silicon Valley, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's a great place to start your new business. Becoming self-employed may be a dream for some wide-eyed entrepreneurs in the West, but it's more or less the only option for many Ugandans, as well as for those in other developing countries due to a lack of employment opportunities. When all else fails, having an idea or skill and starting a business may just be the best way to put food on the table. Right now I have 72 clients. 98% of our clients always come back for their products. Number three, open offices may not be all they're cracked up to be. Now all I got is for many, the days of dreary offices and boring old cubicles are a thing of the past. Companies such as Google, Yahoo, and eBay popularized open office spaces in recent years and haven't looked back since. While these layouts are said to increase communication and creativity, research suggests they may also make it excruciatingly hard to focus. A 2011 study by the University of Leeds found that increased interruptions, reduced concentration, and even a lack of motivation are all symptoms of open office layouts. Now, are you going to go ahead and have those TPS reports for us this afternoon? No. We're not saying there's a one-size-fits-all strategy for office space, but maybe, just for once, Google doesn't have all the answers. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, but that's the last draw. Number two, troublemakers make great entrepreneurs. The real question is this, was all this legal? Absolutely f***ing not. Do you have trouble following the rules, an addictive personality, and a penchant for antisocial behavior? A career in startups may be just the thing for you. Our super rad algorithm searches all your texts, calls, banking, medical records, blah, blah, blah. Research has determined that there are specific character traits common among successful entrepreneurs. We're a new company with a new name, a company that our clients can believe in. While it's no surprise that these individuals tend to have a high IQ, other common traits include an above average frequency of rule breaking and displaying antisocial or aggressive behavior as a teenager. So, it says here that you're proficient in C++, code assembly for multiple processor architectures, and that you are a cyborg? That is correct. These same individuals are also likely to display symptoms of addiction and have substance abuse issues. We like to get as f***ed up as possible during our business powwows in order to stimulate our free-flowing ideas. Some psychologists have even postulated that entrepreneurship itself becomes addictive for those who are repeatedly starting new businesses. There's nothing scary about Grizzle. I mean, we just want to learn everything about everyone and track them wherever they go and anticipate what they're about to do. Number one. Your great idea will probably fail. I had three startups myself, and I couldn't get those Sand Hill Road morons to fund any of them. So just how hard is it to build a successful business? Probably a whole lot harder than you'd think. That is why I am starting my own architecture firm, Mosbius Designs. Mosbius Designs has failed. 
Research shows that nine out of 10 startups will eventually fail. The sad truth is that your great idea is probably not that great to begin with. According to Fortune Magazine, the number one reason businesses go under is that they're making a product or offering a service that no one actually wants. So you just you, you just write down what section of the parking lot you're in? I mean, why do you need an app for that? So you can remember where you parked. Before you go all in on that cool new app that nobody really asked for, you may want to take a hard look at the numbers first. I would like you to crunch those numbers again. It's a program, there's no such thing. Just as crunch them. Just crunch them, please. New companies in the information, transportation, communication, and utilities industries tend to have the highest failure rates. On the other hand, while they may not be the sexiest industries, finance, insurance, and real estate startups have statistically had the highest success rates in recent years. So you may want to start there. That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life, Tom. Yes, yes, it's horrible, this idea. So what do you think about Uber? How many people here have used Uber so far? And who do you think broke more rules growing up, Steve Jobs or Mark Zuckerberg? For more self-made top 10s and bound to fail top fives, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Look, I'm gonna have to ask you to go ahead and just come back another time. I got a meeting with the Bobs in a couple of minutes. Thank you.